When it comes to folks wanting to do pest control for themselves, I have no problem with that. I think that's fine. A lot of people like to do certain home projects by themselves. Some people mow their own grass. Some people have someone take care of the grass for them. Some people do their own home repairs. Other people don't trust themselves and want to have somebody come in. I think it's all really a matter of judgment and knowledge. You want to do some research into the habits and the biology of the insect. You want to make sure that you're identifying the insect properly. And if you can't do that, I mean, you can go to the web and get some information that'll help you. If need be, you can even send them to facilities like Texas A&M or your local pest control operator to make an identification for you. They'll help you out in, in doing that. So number one, you've got to identify the pest. You need to know a little bit about the pest so that you can uh, treat it according to its biology and habits so that you're working with it as opposed to against it. There are all kinds of pesticides and all kinds of non-chemical methods and there's baits and there's there's uh, physical controls, there's cultural things that you can do and you want to do a little bit of research because you do want to be able to use the right method for the right circumstance. There's a lot more to pest control than just putting a pesticide inside a, a container and spraying it around someone's home or spraying it around your own home.